Shout out to Best Buy for sponsoring this video. Hello all, Sarah. John. Here present the last time we did uh, kind of like a townhouse tour. It was super messy. It's very messy. Can we just not show this at all somehow? You were judging it. My mother was judging it. The whole world was judging the mess of the apartment. That was the last video. So why not do like a final tour? Something I said I wasn't going to do, mm. but to make it more exciting, I'm gonna talk about the tech in this apartment because I finally got it after two years living in Texas the way that I like it. Nice, I have nothing to add to that. That was a perfect introduction, babe. You're gonna be filming, are you ready? I'm gonna be filming. And shout out to Best Buy for sponsoring this video. They truly are the one-stop shop for all things, not just tech, but tech that you're gonna find all over our townhouse. So not just the beautiful Samsung TVs and Sonos sound bars, but also unexpected things like this guy. This this is the Arrow Garden, where right here in a place like ours, we unfortunately don't have a fancy yard yet. One day, babe. Yeah. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. But this allows you to have your own little garden, like right here on the counter. So we're gonna um, unbox this eventually and start our little garden. Okay, so that's cool, right? You might not expect to find that at Best Buy, but also, did you know they have power tools? This is what you have to hang around for because this is the thing I'm most excited to test out today. Portable power washer, because a normal power washer doesn't do us much good. And also, John, I have a present for you. What? It's been hiding in plain sight. Oh my god! But I got you your own little drill. Babe, because, thanks. Yeah, we both need drills all the time, and sometimes you take it away on your car, and then I'm left drillless. So I here know. You go. Oh, babe, thank you so much. That's going to be your car drill, and you're just gonna have to hold that the entire video now. That's fine. Listen to that engine, dude. Thirty-two horsepower. Hi, baby. I love you. The fact that this is our biggest mess is pretty good considering the last the last mess. Actually, we need to show them in John's room that I don't even think you guys saw last time. You've been working on a project that's actually insane. Are y'all ready for this? Boom! What's up? What is going on here? I built a sound booth in four days because Sarah left town and I missed her dearly so I wanted a project to work on and I've never had peak audio in anything. And I was like, I had to build something and I just got really, I got head over heels, obsessed, but now it exists and it's Look perfect at audio. This. You just took like wood insulation, uh, sound Judy. panels. I mean, this is insane. I just needed perfect audio. I've never had it in my life. And now it exists. See, that is 4K meowing right there. <laughs> Okay, this is probably where we spend most of our time with our lovely couch that I love so much. But we've already been over that, tech, tech, tech. So the center of everything with our living room setup is a Samsung QLED 8K TV. Their QLEDs are truly amazing. If you wanna do something outside of an OLED, OLEDs have gotten so good. We're gonna talk about that later. Uh, the Samsung QLED is a really great option for a TV that can just have something on it, like if it's art or an animation like this, this is built into the Samsung TVs. It's really great to make your TV not look like a TV. So if you have guests coming over, it's not just gonna be um, a black wall, right? Samsung has the Frame TV, which actually comes with a ton of art on it and its purpose is to kind of be like a piece of art first and then a TV but I found QLED quality is just phenomenal and then it also has cool animations like this um, okay so this is the Sonos beam it is an amazing soundbar um, of course there is the Sonos arc which is bigger but I actually went into Best Buy and I heard the Sonos arc and honestly I feel like I couldn't tell a ton of difference between the two so this is one the more affordable option and as you can tell we had the very specific length that we had to fit this in. So the beam was just perfect to fit here. Um, you know, you can cast music from your phone to this, use it as a Bluetooth speaker, but more importantly, it just makes the audio sound so much better. Voices are more clear when we're watching our shows at night or watching, you know, the, the races on the weekend. Not we, just me, but maybe eventually. I watch it a little bit. As you can see here, this poor dying plant. Um, I'm working on it. All I have to say 
is don't order plants online. This is from like kind of like a startup-y that ships you plants. It came all yellow and just not good. As you can see down below, uh, we're getting some of that green back, but up here uh, needs some help and we just discovered, well, we should keep these wide open. Okay, the biggest change that I did recently was because we're renting this place, the router is downstairs and we cannot change the location. They're like, sorry, we put the little box against the townhouse downstairs and it's not changing. So when you're on floor two and three, the Wi-Fi is terrible. Check out this before and after. Oh, so we have gig internet and we've never really experienced the gig, gig, need gigginess of it. And that was all solved by, well, a wireless access point. So I basically have a switch and an access point up here. And I ran one really long ethernet cable from downstairs on floor one, ran it up all the way up here. You can kind of see it, it's kind of ugly. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I plugged it into the switch here and then plugged in directly to the TV and some other devices up here, but then I plugged it into an access point. And the access point basically acts like you have your router upstairs now on floor two, which is extremely handy because now we can actually use the Wi-Fi when we're sitting on the couch and then also upstairs because I don't want to run an ethernet cable all the way up there. So this is the before and after for upstairs where our TV didn't even work up there with Wi-Fi and now it does. 100 up and down is good enough for there. Now we're getting like download speeds of like 500, 600 while we're just chilling, which is fantastic. So up next, we are talking about all things vacuum. Okay, so this is the iRobot Roomba J7 Plus. Ooh, this thing is awesome. Not just great for picking up cat hair, but the app is really cool because you can automatically schedule cleanings. And so as you can see, we have a cat litter box there. I did spend a pretty penny to get a pretty litter box, but that's the best place we could find for it. It's kind of tucked away. It's on the main floor, so we're not trekking it um, into any of our bedrooms or anything. But the biggest thing... <laughs> Sorry, I hear you sneeze silently and I thought I could do it. My head almost exploded. So this is definitely the best place that we found for it, the litter box to where we're not tracking the litter all over the place because it's in its own corner. Uh, however, that doesn't keep uh, precious King Judy from kind of tracking uh, some litter everywhere. So we basically have this room is set up on a schedule every single day to just clean this section. Kitty is still a little scared of it, but he has learned to just deal with it. And because it's a small area, it only takes about like seven minutes to do. Every day it turns on, it cleans the litter area. And so we don't have to deal with any litter literally ever. So the app is really cool and you can basically section off the different sections of your home and assign missions for the Roomba to go conquer. This is not the only vacuum that we're talking about. This is exciting tech, you know? We have to talk about the fact that I finally have a Dyson vacuum, shout out. So this is something that Best Buy did send to me. I was like, hey guys, can you send me one of those fancy Dyson vacuums with the lights? Because I have been influenced by the other influencers and I wanted the fanciness. Also, I would just never vacuum because I would always go for the most cheapo vacuum option where you have to plug in a cable and then I would never vacuum. So if you splurge a little bit on things that make you more productive, I find I actually use it more. Okay, the main event, and as you can tell, Tell while I need to empty this, but this is a Dyson vacuum model number here. Oh, I love this thing so much. <laughs> Let's empty it on camera. Let's do it. It's have we ever empty. emptied it? Yes. Well, I have. I have it. Oh, that's kind of gross. Ew. No, that's fine. Did a good thing today. <laughs> <laughs> I am so not used to having tech in a vacuum. It's so cool. So on the display up above, it basically gives you stats on uh, how much like dust and particles that you're vacuuming up. And also you can specify uh, different modes if you need the boost mode or the eco mode. I keep it on auto so it dynamically switches into what I need. Back here, it houses the battery. And of course it comes with uh, different heads at the bottom, but I use the laser detect all the time so I can tell where the dirt is. And again, this 
this might seem crazy because I know a lot of people have portable vacuums, cordless vacuums, but that has been the biggest game changer for me, uh, just being able to vacuum anywhere. The battery life I'm finding is around like 26, 27 minutes. Dyson vacuum. I am so lame now. I'm just worried about like vacuum tech, you know, I love it. Here is where all the magic happens. This is where we make stuff, take meetings. This is our joint office. I tried my hardest to make this shelf look beautiful for you guys, but <laughs> I tried extremely hard to make this shelf look beautiful for you guys, but we just have too much stuff. So I prioritize storage over it looking good. So as you can tell, this art, right? That look, Those two shelves look really good, right? And then you expand out and it's just chaos, but we got to keep our tech at the ready. That is the most important, right? So we got both of our setups. We have uh, multiple beds for Judy. As you can tell, that is the most important thing. We got John's 100,000 subscriber plaque for Progress Daily. I'm proud of myself. Sorry, I'm not replying in real time because I'm focusing on the shot. And I guess the only apartment home tech that is in here um, would probably be the Philips Hue lights that get a little RGB when it is dark and we're editing and it's 2 a.m. and we're tired. That helps with some ambiance. Before we do the main event, the pressure washer that I've been so stoked about, maybe we should just do a quick unboxing of the Aero Garden. probably use some design inspo from my very talented YouTube audience. I was thinking probably some black frames up there with a cute picture of both of us, like two pictures of us maybe, mm -hmm. potentially. We got the exercise bike, cause who knows where the heck to put it. Um, and then if we come over here, we have the main event. I love this TV so much. This is the LG C1. Look at how thin it is. And it is a OLED TV. Did you put this up here? No. This, I think, is the best bang for your buck OLED TV that you can get. I am so pleased by the images. The blacks are so black. That's what OLED does so great. Um, and the colors are amazing. And it's just super sharp. It just feels like you're right in the action. And it's a very thin profile. I'm a big fan. And you know what? I'm kind of fine with not having a sound bar up here because the speakers are decent and we don't use this TV as much. It's for like the late night binges. If I'm just exhausted, I'll chill in bed and watch some shows. But I will say I probably should upgrade to either, you know, I'm just gonna probably get another Sonos Beam. I literally within the span of 10 seconds went from like, I don't really need it. And then I was thinking about it and I was like, no, I'm gonna get another sound bar. I need it. It's not fake. Are you sure? Yeah, the image is just that good. Wow. The last piece of tech that is kind of just everywhere if you see, well, lamps is I use those TP smart plugs. I used to have a lot of smart bulbs. I think I kind of lost them in the move, but I find if I stick with the plugs, I can actually use those for different things. I'm not just limited to a lamp, right? I use super warm lights that's low on the Kelvin scale. Um, and that just makes uh, the home, I feel like a little bit more warm and homey. And then the smart plugs allow me to automate them turning on and off in my uh, smart home app on my phone. It doesn't complicate things too much and it's just a good little smart feature because I also have one of those plugs at my office with my neon light and you can basically set it up to where when you're close to the office, it'll automatically turn it on and when you leave, it'll turn it off. So smart plugs are super, super flexible. You know what time it is, John? Time to pressure wash. 
Oh my god, I'm so excited about this. Okay, so the whole point of a portable power washer is one, it runs on a battery, just kind of like a power drill, but two, the water source. So it does have an attachment where you can attach it to a hose, but as you can imagine, on floor three, we do not have a hose hookup up here. But at the end of the power washer thingamajig, I don't know what it's called, I guess the the hose is a little nozzle that sucks up the water from a bucket. Um, we don't have a bucket, but what we do have is a tub that we've never used. And check this out. Did you know that this window opened? I don't think so. This literally opens. Oh, nice. We can bring the hose through here, drop it in the tub oh, of water. Lord. And that's where we're gonna get the water to power wash the roof. Don't be. It's gonna be fun. Just don't aim it at your face. Yeah. This is the end that we'll be putting in the bathtub. <laughs> I need to go outside, but Judy is keeping me prisoner. There you go. I don't remember the instructions, but okay. Here, come up close. See yeah. this? Bird poop. Okay. That's the first test. And then do you see this? That's what we're gonna eliminate today. Whoa! Okay. Babe. It just needed to work its way up. Ready? Yeah. So cool. You like guys, that? make sure to like and subscribe. And if any of this tech in this video, you're like, oh, I might need that for my apartment, townhouse slash house, check out my Best Buy links down in the description below. Best Buy, thank you for sponsoring this video. I think I might go do that uh, to our garage now. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, Katie, we're done. Say bye. What do we say? Stay peachy. Okay, bye. Okay, it's a little over a week and we are thriving out here. Look at how gorgeous. Wow, this is exciting. <laughs>